10 Most Amazing Lakes in the World. Number 10 is Dead Sea, bordered with Jordan, Israel and Palestine. The Dead Sea isn't really an ocean yet a salt lake, which is a sort of lake which has a higher grouping of salt and minerals than any normal lakes on the planet. It is critical in history and was regularly referred to in the Bible both in the Old and New Confirmation. This was before the site for King David shelter and Jesus Christ was likewise advised to have strolled over its waters. The Dead Sea is otherwise called the Sea of Death in light of the fact that no naturally visible living things can flourish in it. The high saltiness of the water makes it unthinkable for life to frame except for a not many microorganisms and organisms. Indeed, the water from the Dead Ocean is 9.6 occasions saltier than the sea. The Dead Ocean is the Earth's most reduced rise ashore at 423 meters underneath ocean level and due to the high grouping of salt in the water. The lightness of the water is solid to such an extent that an individual can't swim submerged. The water will push the body to coast. The water and sand is likewise accepted to have remedial forces to fix certain skin sicknesses and is utilized for beautifiers and skin therapies. Number 9 is Lake Berryessa Glory Hole, California. Lake Berryessa is the biggest lake in the Napa County, California. It is significant on the grounds that it isn't just a vacation destination however more thus, as a wellspring of hydroelectric force basic toward the North Narrows locale of the San Francisco Bay. What makes it fascinating and astonishing is the Chai Mouth Spillway situated at the southeastern side of the lake. This greatness hole is the biggest of its sort with a measurement of 72 feet. The opening has a vertical drop of 200 feet and therapists down to 28 feet. When the water level arrives at the most extreme level, the spillway gets lowered and it swallows abundance water at an inconceivable pace of 48,800 cubic feet for each second. The abundance water goes into a solid line 700 feet from the lake at the opposite side of the dam. Individuals are not allowed to go close to the opening particularly when the water level is high for clear reasons. There are floats set across the lake to force tall swimmers and boaters in going past the checked line. Number 8 is Crater Lake, Oregon. Whole lake is a lake framed during the breakdown of Mount Mazama 7,700 years back. It is a lake caldera which is 2,148 feet down and considered the most profound in the United States and 7th or 9th most profound lake on the planet relying upon the profundity estimated. There are no waterways or some other waterways associated with the lake. Along these lines, the water in the lake is viewed as one of the most perfect in light of the non-appearance of toxins. The water is extremely clear and it has a perceivability of up to 43.3 meters. Inside the lake, there is likewise a solitary element famously called as the elderly person of the lake, it is a tree and is assessed to be exceptionally old. There are additionally two separate islands specifically, Wizard Island and the more modest island Phantom Boat. Number 7 is Lake Baikal, Siberia. Lake Baikal is a break lake which is a sort of lake that is shaped through mainland outside being pulled separated. It is the most profound lake on the planet with a profundity of 1,642 meters, 5,387 feet. The lower part of the lake lies 1,186.5 meters beneath ocean level and under the lake floor is the place where the 7 km of silt are found setting the break floor some 8 11 km underneath the surface. It is the most profound break on Earth is as yet not investigated. Americans and Russian researchers study the center residue and strangely enough, each dregs contains nitty-gritty climactic records dating as far back as 250,000 years. This implies that Lake Baikal is one of the most seasoned or most old lake in the topographical history. Its age is assessed between 25-30 million years. Lake Baikal is additionally wealthy in biodiversity. 80% of creatures living inside the region are endemic and in excess of 1,000 types of plants flourish inside the lake. It was remembered for the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1996 and from that point forward has been secured. Number 6 is Abraham Lake, Alberta, Canada. Abraham Lake is really a man-made lake in Alberta, Canada, upper north of the Saskatchewan stream at the foot of the Canadian Rockies. 
It is truly wonderful during summer yet what makes it astounding is the frozen air pockets found under the lake throughout the colder time of year season. These frozen or ice rises under are heaped together like pale blue white cotton fleece or white rocks heaped on top of one another in an organized manner. These frozen air pockets are really methane gas that is delivered when microbes at the lower part of the lake breaks down natural issue like creatures, plants, and trees that passed on and sank to the base. Whenever methane is delivered an air pocket is framed and it ascends to the surface and vanishes noticeable all around. During winter season, these air pockets are caught when the lake is frozen and can't get away. These structures the ice bubbles since methane gas gets frozen when it interacts with a colder surface. When the ice is broken, the air pockets pop and methane is delivered into the air. Number 5 is Tao Lake, Batangas, Philippines. Tao Lake is a freshwater lake situated in the territory of Batangas in the Philippines. It is the nation's third biggest lake and furthermore the most shot. It is constantly included and appeared in postcards and magazines predominantly in light of the fact that it supports the world's littlest dynamic decade spring of gushing lava, the Tau volcano. The lake fills the Tau caldera which is a remainder and the spot where chronicle demissions happened going back to 100,000 to 500,000 years prior. Ordinary precipitation aggregated inside the caldera which at last broke down salt substance killing the water's saltiness totally. At the focal point of the lake is the volcano island where volcanic movement is focused up right up till the present time. Inside the spring of gushing lava island, there lies another lake known as the main crater lake. Truly, the cavity lake was isolated into three cavity lakes with three distinct tones, red, yellow and emerald green. These holes were lost during a gigantic emission in 1911 and what stayed up to this point is an enormous whole lake. Number 4 is Five Flower Lake, China. The Five Blossom Lake is perhaps the most famous and most delightful lake among the lakes found in the Jiazhu National Park in China. It is prestigious worldwide and a great many sightseers visit it regular. It lies toward the finish of the Peacock Stream at a tallness of 2,472 meters above ocean level and has a profundity of 5 meters in particular. This shallow lake mirrors different tones and certainly an extraordinary sight to eat your eyes with. The leaves of differing colors accumulated at the lake front joined as a multi-hued brocade. The lower part of the lake is covered with old trunks of trees befuddled all over. The water is in a way from with a hint of red, yellow, green and blue. Truth be told, it's obvious to such an extent that you can see the lower part of the lake with the tree trunks dispersed underneath. Number 3 is Spotted Lake, British Columbia, Canada. The Spotted Lake is found in Azusa, British Columbia in Canada. The most remarkable component of the lake is the multi-hued detects that are entirely obvious and unmistakable in any event, when seen from the throughway. The lake contains the world's most noteworthy centralization of various minerals most prominently, magnesium sulfate, calcium and sodium sulfates. Beside these three most conspicuous minerals, the lake additionally contains higher convergence of eight different minerals and little portions of four others including silver and titanium. These spots comprise chiefly of magnesium sulfate and accordingly during summer, these spots become solidified. The lake vanishes and during summer just the minerals remain and they structure regular walkways in the middle of and around the spots. The spotted lake is likewise remedial and known to fix sicknesses. A great deal of organizations have attempted to purchase and market it until First Nations settled the negotiation in October of 2001 for $720,000. The lake today is a property of First Nations and the property is secured by a wall for stalling direct access. Number 2 is Lake Hillier Pink Lake, Western Australia. Lake Hillier is situated at the Middle Island which is the biggest among the islands that include the Recherche Archipelago in Western Australia. It is celebrated for its pink tone. It's a pinkish shade on the water as well as the water itself is truly pink. It is truly stunning in that its tone isn't gotten from beta-carotene delivered by a green growth when lighting filtrates the water, which is really the situation for Lake Redba in Africa and the Pink Lake in Western Australia same locale where Lake Hillier is. 
these two lakes get its tone from the red shade being delivered by Dunali elicilina and halobacteria that utilization daylight to make more energy. Not at all like these two, the pink water of Lake Hillier is lasting and regardless of whether the water is taken from the lake and moved to an alternate compartment, the pink water is as yet pink. Researchers have attempted to get tests and contemplated the water yet as of not long ago they are as yet unfit to discover the reason for this astonishing pink tone. All things considered, they found that the water contains high grouping of salt and it's hypersaline. It's just 600 meters in size however the pink water can be seen strikingly while on board the plane. Furthermore, it never neglects to flabbergast the spectators. Number 1 is Plitvis Lake, Croatia. Plitvis Lakes is inside the Plitvis National Park in Croatia which is the biggest public park in the nation and the most established public park in Southeast Europe. It is viewed as the most lovely lake on the planet due to its stupendous showcase of tones at various times, at various points of light and at various seasons. It was engraved in the UNESCO World Heritage in 1979 among the first sites around the world. Consistently, the lake is visited by more than 1.2 million vacationers from everywhere the world. It is generally acclaimed for its 16 lakes organized in falls. These lakes are interconnected and are isolated by characteristic dams of travertine which grow one centimeter for every year. The conjunction of various tones are truly fabulous going from sky blue to green, to dim to blue. Dot dot dot. These colors change continually and are impacted by the amount of minerals and living beings found in the water just as the point of daylight. 